What's up, my friends? Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We're here with Aridan and Camp, and we're probably going to head towards uh, Denerim and deal with a uh, martial end situation for Liliana over here. We need to get that started as well, and I also would like to pick up something to do with the crows there. I vaguely remember there being a quest about something about uh, dealing with the crows and such, and we'll, we'll take Zevron with that. But with that being said, we might as well just go ahead and get right to it, man. Get right into the friggin' fray. So let's take... Liliana, of course. And I want to yes. take Zev. But parts of me wants to also take Shale again. But we should probably go with a healer, so let's okay. go ahead with Morgan. What do you say we get right to it and start busting some heads? Guaranteed we're probably going to fight somebody on the road. Oh, I guess I was wrong, my friends. All right, let's level some people up here. We got her on Bard still, which is good. Um, let's go more in Cunning. Distraction. The Bard's performance repeat with Dizian flourishes. Uh, I don't really like that one. To be honest with you, I don't even use any of these other ones. Are, are they all sustains? Sustains. That's actually not bad. This is not the one I was thinking about. This is... This is the one I was thinking about. The one where they just sing and sing and sing. Marshall Lynn does that crap. Alright, Lily. I'm thinking... I would like to get her stealth up a bit more, but we can't. I guess we'll do that one. And then Morgan. We're gonna need to put some stuff in the Constitution pretty soon, friends. And then, yeah, buddy. That's what the freak I'm talking about, pal. Who is that, Aridan? Liliana. Um. We can't really do anything with that yet. Zevron is still good. And Morgan cannot use Crushing Pr or Waking Nightmare. I'll use Waking Nightmare. Because I'd rather me use it than the computer. Because when the computer uses it, sometimes it just go, goes ahead and it, um... Sometimes it, like, pulls the next room. Message for you, my lord. Hey. Huh? More things to deliver. Goodbye. Trail of the Crows. Alright. So it's just... Anonymous letter, hold on. Was there nothing to read? A cryptic letter from the Antivan Crows that directs you to the back room of the Nard Noble Tavern. We need to go there anyway and pick up some quests. Ah. Oh. If we have time, I would like to look for Marjolaine. We have a score to settle. Hell yeah, let's go bust her ass. What's up, Denerim? I always get like... I'm always sitting here on the edge of my seat when I come to Denerim, friends. I mean, obviously, you all could probably understand why. Denim is just a buggy mess. Let's just hope it doesn't go down that route this way through, huh? Yeah, buddy, come on. Eat that. Fucking wreck them. This might be a nasty team here, huh? Imagine if we had Liliana as a... We had her as a dual wielder as well. What? Liliana? Oh, so lovely to see you again, my dear. Spare me the pleasantries. I know you're... Oh, you must excuse the shabby accommodations. I try to be a good host, but you see what I have to work with. This country smells like wet dog everywhere. I cannot get this smell out. Even now it is in my hair, my clothes. Ugh. 
Hey, this country smells wonderful. Why did you even send assassins out there, Liliana, then, you freaking putz? So businesslike, your companion. You framed me, had me caught, and tortured. I thought that in Ferelden I would be free of you, but it seems I am not. What happened to make you hate me so? Why do you want me dead so badly? Dead? Nonsense. I know you, my Liliana. I know what you are capable of. Four or five men you can dispatch easily. They were sent to give you cause to come to me. And see? Here you are. You know, I really just do not like this lady. She's such a user, manipulator. Like, I hate her. She's like one of my most hated people in this freaking game. I can't stand Marjolaine, man. I hate everything that she stands for. She's such like a user. She's a freaking... All she cares about is herself. Like... It's unloyal. She's just a fucking bitch. You know, you could have sent the freaking letter. Ignore what she says. She's lying. I know how she works. What are you up to, Marjolaine? Why are you in Ferelden? In truth, you have knowledge that you can use against me. For my own safety, I cannot let you be. It is you think I did not know where you were. Did you think I would not watch, my Liliana? What is she up to, I thought. The quiet life, the peasant clothes, hair ragged and messy like a boy. Uh, this is not her. You were planning something, I told myself. So I watched. But no letters were sent, no messages. You barely spoke to anyone. Clever, Liliana, very clever. You almost had me fooled. But then... You left the Chantry so suddenly. What conclusion should I draw? You tell me. You think I left because of you? You think I still have some plan for... for revenge? You are insane. Paranoid. You know, she is insane and paranoid. It's crazy. Like, she should have just left Liliana... let her go. Waited. You know, she was that scared, she could have waited. She really thought Liliana was going to kill her. I mean, at the end of the freaking, uh, at the end of the DLC, we let her go anyway. Liliana, like, she doesn't care. She lets her go. It's not always about you there, Marjolaine. Liliana's helping the Grey Wardens now. Oh, is that what you think? If I were you, I would believe nothing, she says. Not a one. She will use you. You look at her and you see a simple girl, a friend, trusting and warm. It is an act. I am not you, Marjolaine. I left because I didn't want to become you. Oh, but you are me. You cannot escape it. No one will understand you the way I do, because we are one and the same. Do you know why you were a master manipulator, Liliana? It is because you enjoyed the game. You reveled in the power it gave you. You cannot change or deny this. You know, you can say whatever you want to say, the drivel that's coming out of your damn mouth, but no matter what, I trust Liliana. Thank you. You will not threaten me or my friends again, Marjolaine. I want you out of my life forever. Hell yeah, Liliana. Let's whoop her fucking ass. You know, she's going to hound you as long as she lives. Obviously, she's never going to let it go. You've caused too much pain for too many, Marjolaine. It ends here. And you think you can kill me like that? I made you, Liliana. I can destroy you just as easily. All right, this is going to be hard. So let's get to Morgan. I want a waking nightmare over here. <gasps> And then let's hit this one with a crush in prison. Oh. Let's put these guys to sleep back here. Let's get that one a nightmare. Good riddance. Wrecked them. Man, magic. I, you know, I missed freaking magic. 
Morgan is in a good state, man. This guy's done. Morgan has wrecked them two mages. Take these traps out. Get back to Morgan. Heal Aridon. She's already in her dumb state where she's just singing. It's freaking wrecked, my friends. We wrecked them. What I'm talking about. Let's get... Look at this guy. I hear tearing Liliana. There we go, Zen. He's freaking done for. <laughs> They're gonna keep getting stunned. I tried to be masterful. It is done. Hell yeah, Zeb. Kill Camder ass. It's over. She's dead. She's dead because of me. I I need some time to myself. We will talk later. Let's get she's started. Dead because she's a bitch. And she's dead because of herself, not really because of you. Yes, we did kill her. But she As left us no damn choice. You know what I'm saying? You guys agree? Marjolaine deserved that. The ultimate freaking betrayer, man. Let's get out here. Get some shit done. Parts of me wants to go back. Now that Liliana shit is dealt with. I want to put Alistair in the party. On it. So let's go back. I can't real quick. Do we? Um, and let's just talk to her while we're here. Oh hello. Is there something you wanted to talk about? Yeah yeah. Um, you know you look distracted. It's it's nothing. I'm fine. I'm just thinking. What about? I can't get what happened out of my head. I'd been in Lothering for years, and she still thought I was plotting against her. She didn't trust me. Maybe she never did. She loved me when she could use me and control me. And now that she can't, she wants me dead. It... It hurts to realize that I never really knew her. No, you did not know her. I don't even think she knew herself. Like, the snap of a finger is Marjolaine is just somebody else. Like, it's just crazy. They've written a great character for me to hate, I'm telling you. Maybe, I mean, maybe you did. Just didn't want to admit it. I knew she was ruthless, but I didn't know how far she could go. She is self-serving, cruel. She uses people, then discards them. But that's how she survives in the life she leads. What? Well, what if she's right? What if we're the same? I... I should just have stayed in the Chantry. She would have attacked you there eventually. Maybe, but that is not the point. I was a different person there. I forgot my life as a bard while I was in the cloister. I felt safe. I didn't have to watch my back all the time. That's what made Marjolaine the person she is, don't you see? It ruined her. It will ruin me too. It's already happened. When we killed her, I... I enjoyed it. Seeing her dead gave me satisfaction. She did a great injustice to you. But that is no reason to rejoice over her death. That is what she would do. I don't want that. What we're doing. What we've done. Hunted men down. Killed them. Part of me loves it. It invigorates me and this scares me. I... I feel myself slipping. You're not slipping. I mean, this is who you are. If you enjoy it, this is who you are, Liliana. I don't really picture you as a person inside the uh, Chantry singing to the Maker and whatnot. Parts of me feels like Liliana is pretty religious, yes. But to a certain point. Like, I don't feel like she needs to be in a Chantry non-stop, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like the way her beliefs in the Chantry is, it's, it's more natural. It's not forced to where she has to do it all the time. So, 
I mean, you're not slipping. This is who you are. I admit that I took great pleasure in the intrigue back in Orlais. It was dangerous and chaotic and exciting, but it destroyed my life. I thought the Chantry showed me another path. I thought I was done with this life. Am I wrong? You're not a Chantry sister. You're a bard. A spy. You have to realize that someday, Liliana. Like... To tell her to go to the Chantry, it still feels like... It feels like she doesn't fully want to. It's like she's wants you to tell her not to stay in the chantry because she it's like she doesn't know. You know what I mean? So, you're not a chantry sister, you're a bard, a spy. There is this thought that floats into my mind constantly. That I lie when I say the chantry gave me peace when in truth it it bored me. Here with you Knowing the freedom of the road and the uncertainty of tomorrow, I feel alive again. Well, deep down that you know, this is where you belong. I would like to be alone for now. I have many things to consider. Thank you for listening to me. Alright, well Liliana's on board, and now that she's on board with all that, we might as well just go around, uh... We might as well just go around Denaro, man. Came back here to switch my party for no reason. Indeed. Well, no. Lost we can't use damnation. Morgan. Yes. Indeed. Yes. We gotta go without a healer, friends. All good. Alright, Alistair got to level up here. More dex. Alistair, your dex is looking good, pal. What is this, Punisher? That character makes a... Three makes three blows against a target dealing normal damage with the first two strikes and generating a critical hit and a final blow if it connects. The target may also suffer penalties to attack and defense or be knocked to the ground. Oh, momentum. You know, I'm going to keep going on this tree though. I know that stuff looks good. I don't think he has the... Uh, I don't think he has the stamina to deal with momentum right now. And then cleanse, obviously I will use that when we need to. Alright, let's get to it. Let's go around here. I don't... Actually, I don't think we're going to get to Redcliffe this episode here. Because I still want to do stuff here. There's a lot of people I would like to talk to that we did not talk to. Some of these side characters. One death. The one who repents. Who has faith unshaken by the darkness of the world, and roasts not, nor gloats over the misfortunes of the weak, but takes delight in the Maker's law and creations. Boasts. It's boasts, sister, not roasts. She shall know the peas of the Maker's benediction. The light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world and into the next. Peace, sister, peace. She shall know the peace of the Maker's benediction. The veal holds no uncertainty for her, and she will know no fear of death, for the Maker shall be her bacon and her shield, her foundation and her... There's no veal in the chant. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? You know, I actually like her damn version better. <laughs> Me too. I wonder why nobody ever taught me her version of the chant when I was a Templar. Oh. Hello, dear. Can we help you? Um, what she means is, in Andraste's name, be welcome. Stop correcting me! What would Andraste do? That's what you should be concerned with, I say. Andraste was no fuss budget. What the hell are you doing out here, old woman? Praying for the good people of Denerim who've lost loved ones at Ostagar. It's usual to recite a stanza from Transfigurations when you pray for the departed. It's usual to recite the stanza correctly. But that's what I said. Um, I guess since we're in... I guess since we are in all your human freaking towns... Hearing all about your customs and shit, you might as well tell us about the Shanna. Tell you about the chart? What? As if it's a cake you might buy? 
Well, it's done enough, but a little too much nutmeg for my taste. Sister, instructing the ignorant is a sacred duty of the Chantry. Fine, then. What do you want to know? Man, this lady is the best damn Chantry cleric there is, I'm telling you. What does your chant say about elves? Yes and no, dear. The official version of the chant does not speak of the elves. Some of the dissonant verses, however, do mention the disciple, Shartan. Who is Shartan? He was an elven disciple of the prophet. A former slave like Andraste herself. He rallied his people against the Imperium. He was given to the flames alongside Our Lady. Then why aren't his verses, you know, part of the chantry if he freaking helped Andras there? Divine Renata had the verses removed during the exalted march on the Dales. What are dissonant verses? The chant has changed over time. Some of the verses that were sung in the past were taken out. The canticles of Shartan were stricken from the chant in the Glory Age. They are no longer sung, though scholars still sometimes read them. So there's more than one version of this damn chant? Of course. The official chant of light is written in Tevinta, but it is translated into the languages of the believers. Some ideas are lost in the process of translation and words take on unintended meanings. There's a dreadful pun in the Orlesian version in the Canticle of Threnodes, and languages are always changing. The chant must adapt if it is to be understood by the people hearing it. Do you have anything about the darkspawn in there then? Oh, there are some very stirring canticles about doom and wrath. Darkspawn were created by mankind's second sin, pride. Arrogance became a great caged beast in the lands of Tevinter, an emptiness that consumed all and could never be filled. To satisfy its hunger, the mage lords assaulted the golden city, heart of all creation, to take the maker's power for themselves. Why does no one ever sing the good stanzas during chantry services anymore? They speak them. It's called the chant of light, not the speech of light. Sister, would you kindly stop messing up the chant? See how you like being interrupted. Well, you get the general idea, I'm sure. What was the verse you were inciting just now, then? It's the tenth stanza from the Transfigurations. Lovely canticle, that one. Oh, you should have heard Brother Cademan sing it, though. Oh, yeah? I, I bet he had a wonderful voice, huh? He had a voice like a bucket full of toads. Revered Mother Boan, bless her heart, always said, if we had more voices like his, the Maker couldn't fail to take note of us. What happened to this wonderful voice of a man? It was tragic, really. Such a surprise. We don't speak of that. He died, I guess? He was in charge of the Lyrium storehouse. It wasn't good for him, you see. He took off all his clothes in the middle of the chart one summer day and ran into the street. He tripped and fell into the vat of elderberry wine for the feast and drowned. We were six days drying him out for his cremation. He looked like a pickled egg. So tragic. All right. Well, you old nuns, take care. Now, where's the fun in belonging to the Chantry if you can't proselytize to the heathens a bit? Um, uh, blessings of the Maker and of Andraste, his bride, upon you. All Heathen. men are the work of our Maker's house. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Let's turn Those some shit in. stung with a hundred arrows... Though suffering from ailments both great and small, his heart was strong, and he moved on. Yes, ma'am, that was me, pal. Uh, back alley justice, we would do that later when the lands meets up. Missing in action is lands meet area, and Basil's request is lands meet area stuff. Alright, no point in picking that up now. In the name of Andraste, bride of the maker, be welcome in this house. While the cathedral is closed, if you need to make wedding or funeral arrangements, you'll have to talk to Sister Oma. Did someone die? I remember a funeral. King Kaelin died, remember? Along with most of the army at Ostagar? Make a guide them all. Hey, let me in this damn cathedral right now, I wanna pray. That which you fear, living in the shadow of death alone, 
I have seen, it is only a cloud passing before the sun. The death toll at Ostagar was staggering. We've had a funeral every day for a lost son or daughter of Denerim, and we've many more yet to hold. What's wrong with your friend over here? Are they singing the chant now? It's a funeral, isn't it? He should have retired to Valroyo years ago, but he wanted to stay and serve the remainder of his days in his homeland. It's the Lyrium that does this. So if Lyrium did it to him, why doesn't he just stop taking it? He wouldn't be a Templar anymore. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. He doesn't forget who he is, even if he can't remember anything else. Ah, damn Templars. May the light of the Maker guide your steps. It's so crazy how they get so addicted to it. It's, it's, it's literally like you're taking crack. And you get addicted to that. Strange that matters can be so tumultuous and yet Fucking crazy. still be so bright. Oh, my pardon. Just thinking aloud. Are you here for the Chanter's board? What are you yammering on about now? Who are you? I am Sister Justine, curator of the reliquary of this Chantry. <laughs> Pride again. It is hard to live up to the example of Andraste. What the hell are you even so proud about there, old woman? I have always been fascinated with history. What better place to indulge that than the birthplace of the Maker's Prophet? To be the curator of this Chantry and to be so young. I fight a battle with pride. And hopefully the Maker can forgive my occasional defeat. I don't think the Maker really gives a shit what you do. But anyways, what's the damn creator? The Archivist tends the books and I tend the sacred relics. I also search for more to add to our collection, which is more difficult than it sounds. You know, I'm just playing. I don't want to mock. I feel bad for even saying that. Because it is what it is. We wouldn't really want somebody to mock our gods, so... I'm not gonna sit here and mock their gods, I guess. There are still relics found after all these years of this prophet. My thought exactly, but I'm perpetually amazed at how quickly people accept fantastic claims at face value. A hawker on the street will claim to have an actual finger bone of Andraste. In this city alone, you could make the skeleton of ten prophets from fingers alone. Curators often accept them as genuine. I worry about the authenticity of even our most holy artifacts. How difficult is it for you to verify these uh, relics? When I was a curator of a much smaller chantry in Orlay, I thought that false relics slipped through because of laziness. But the life of the cloth is never an easy one, and that explanation always seemed hollow to me. Now I believe it's the seduction of the divine. We all want a personal connection to the Maker. We want to believe that what we hold in our hands is the actual sandal that slipped from Andraste's foot before the fires consumed her. Faith is of the heart, not of the head. When the heart is ungoverned by reason, charlatans have powerful tools to deceive. Um, I'm not saying this because I don't really know. It's weird coming from an elf to say this since we believe in something different. Let me ask you something else. Of course, sir. On what topic? Um, I guess tell me about your job? You've shown admirable patience listening to my diatribe before. I will not bore you again. Suffice it to say, I look for and authenticate holy relics for the Chantry. How many relics have you found? Well, there's one that might be real. I couldn't prove it wasn't. Perhaps you can understand my skepticism. So many claims, so few truths. You think this urn of sacred ashes is real? Certainly. My research indicates that all of the ashes were gathered into a pot or urn. But it's been lost for centuries. That doesn't stop hawkers from selling pinches of the ashes of Andraste to gullible pilgrims. The real ashes may still be hidden somewhere. Though it's possible the urn broke. Alright, take it easy, pal. Of course, enjoy your visit to the Chantry. You have literally done nothing that I wanted to do fully. But it is nice to get rid of some of these characters. 
because we had dialogue just freaking uh gathering up and we needed to get rid of it anyway do we have anything to turn into this guy the major's collective thanks you make us smile upon you hell yeah pal I think that was the one with the guys that we killed last episode. The uh, dudes that were looking for the mage. Any of these people talk over here like this guy? What is it? I have work to do. Hey, I have a note for you from your master. What does it say? Ah, I knew this would happen. Just when I was starting to get good. Well, thanks, I guess. Hell yeah, pal, you were just becoming a good mage. Excuse me, ma'am. Good day. The market is busy, is it not? Come, rest here. I have the finest selection of flowers and Orlesian scented oils in all of Denerim. For a lady friend, perhaps? Hell yeah. Roses can open any woman's heart, you know. So can sugar cakes. They can open their woman, the woman's heart and everything else, including her tent doors, if you know what I mean. I want something more practical, though, you know? Huh? And smelling good is not... Feral Den is no longer full of barbarians. People judge with their noses as well as their ears and eyes. But you look more... armed than most of my patrons. Perhaps you seek the armorsmith, Wade, then to the south? He is quite the artiste, yes? Damn right he is. So, uh, where are you from? I am from Orlais. You've heard of us, no? This Denerim is a fine city, but I miss my Varroyo. She's quite beautiful this time of year. Tell me about uh, Valroyo then. What I miss most are the clothes. The avenue of flowers this time of year has so many colors. And the skirts. Fine wools, claws. Many only the nobleborn can afford. Ferelden is more muted. Its fashion's quite old. But I like the people of this city very much. Why did you leave them? Orlais has many, many good things. But it is sometimes not so good to be... common. My brother had trouble with a chevalier and we departed shortly after. What's a chevalier? You know so little of Orlais here. The chevaliers are knights of the highest order. They are the most skilled in the world. Their discipline... Formidable. For their service, they're allowed privileges. They can do whatever they want to the lesser born. Uh, what sort of trouble did you get in? A chevalier took an interest in me. It was his right, but it was unwelcome. Incensed, my brother hit him over the head with a pot. Such a thing is almost treason. We left that very night and came here. So those beasts are allowed to just rape women? That and more. Some reveal them for their skill and their high service. But others tread lightly. As lightly as the mouse in the cat's den. If you will excuse me, I... I feel a touch lightheaded. Well, if we meet any of them, we're gonna go ahead and just kill them. What do you guys say, huh? It is a pleasure to see you again. Have my flowers enticed you? Oh yeah, perhaps baby. perhaps you tire of the smells of the city and would buy my Orlesian oils? Um, what's there to see in this market? Much of the city is still a mystery to me, but the markets is like my home. Circle and sorcelled objects can be found in the wonders of Thedas in the alleyway north. The armorer, Wade, and his emporium are just to the south. If you need work, outside the rectory to the southeast is a chanter's board. And if your thirst is strong, head to the Nord Noble Tavern north of here. Be prepared, though. They do put on many airs. All right, well, take it easy, huh? <laughs> Good grief, friends. All right, well, this place is pretty much done. Caesar's here. We already talked to Caesar. Don't we need to get these hooded people here? Leave me to my business. Leave me to my business, pal. Let's get started. I guess we're not getting them yet. Okay, then. Well, let's head to the uh, inn real quick. 
and pick up the crow quest and anything else that we have in here. And then I want to head towards the pearl, but we're going to have to do that next episode, I guess. Sheesh. We're just not getting around to doing everything that I want to right away. before heading Perhaps to. Perhaps I could have a try at that. Can you get it then, pal? Allow me. I <laughs> could do that for you. You definitely can. Yes, yeah, schmucks. What can I get you, stranger? Um, anything you need help with? He glances in prying eyes and produces a note on behalf of a few interesting parties. Okay. It's always used to have a big time, a big name in your pocket, and there's nothing better than snagging them with their knickers down. If I'm... If in travels wide, someone were to come across notes between illicit lovers, I have certain specialists who make the most out of the text. Deliver to the bartender and invest... And an investment towards further manipulation will be paid handsome solving problems I have trouble a few or more excitable young associates got a little nervous during a couple of delicate handovers suffice to say a little mess needs attention life is normally cheap but if words of this get out there will be consequences my men are under close watch so I would be most grateful for someone willing to take care of this coin is assured Negotiation aids. So hold on, this one's by R, this one is by D, and this one's by K. The troubles of the new blood seem to find me. I've ruffled some feathers with my alternative tactics, and certain people have had me blacklisted from primary suppliers. So I put this out there to those enterprising friends who want an ally and perhaps a little coin. 15 toxin extract will be more than enough to ensure I can continue building my support. Simple, isn't it? Sure, pal. Simple as just buying the shit. Do we have 15? What can I get you, stranger? Hey, I finished one of the favors. Here. Alright. You got what anything else, pal? What can I get you, stranger? Untraceable. This is from K. Seems people just can't play fair. Make changes to benefit everyone and all you are all, all you get are glares from the old men. No more toys for me, it seems, unless an enterprising friend cares to make a strategic donation, something nondescript that would be moved by small vendors, Garnet, let's say ten pieces can't trade money for money, but I'm generous with my gratitude. Alrighty. What's up guys? How you doing in here? On. Maker's blessings upon you. Maker's blessing upon you, pal. Let's go back here and get this started. You hear about a note? Maybe we have some things we can talk about. Just see the conversation stays civil. If this is a trap, I... Zevran, is it? You are Talisan's responsibility. Other crows may try to kill you, but in my eyes... You're already dead, so you are of no notice. But the Warden here, he is of great interest to me. But you were hired to kill me. I can't stress enough that I wasn't hired to do anything. An associate was, and he's failed, and failed badly. I'd like to see you do any better. Do you take me for a fool? That's a contract I'd never take. Hmm. A client can always hire more help if the job isn't done the first time. But I am hoping we can make sure that doesn't happen. Zevron, is this true? I've only heard of the one time the entire House of Crows was hired for a job. A princely sum changed hands and an entire noble family died. Not one soul survived. Ignacio has the right of it. Generally, it is one master, one job. Okay, well, I'm listening. Ferelden is a busy place. Blight, civil war, other mayhem. Lots of people not getting along. Sometimes they really don't get along. Maybe want to do something about it. The people that handle that sort of thing can get real busy. So, 
So you're hiring help? You could say that. Not many people we can turn to. So, someone that's crossed our path and lived? Well, maybe they could help out. Make some coin. Everyone wins. So how does this work then? I hand you a scroll. You read it, you learn about someone interesting. If you find out something happens to him, something unfortunate, then if we talk again, I give you money for letting me know. You don't like what's on the scroll, don't do anything. Maybe he has an accident and someone else tells me all about it. So if I do this for you, then I want no more crows after me. That I cannot do. One master has a contract on you. But if you help us out, maybe if that master asks for help, he'll just get silence. Yes? What's with all the innuendo? We both know what this is about. You can never be too careful. Can you blame someone for being circumspect? Alright, well hand me the scroll, pal. There you go. Makes for fine reading. You're a cautious little weasel, Ignacio. What's your angle? If you're playing us false... My dance is not for you. I need to be real honest sometimes. And I can say I haven't asked anyone to do anything. I've just given someone something interesting to read. And you think that will save your hide when they nail it to a wall? You are already dead in my eyes, Horsan. Take care that I don't learn otherwise. If that's all, luck be to you. Luck be to you. All right, my friends, I'm going to save here. Um, when we head back, when we head back, I'll probably be a camp because I do not like saving in Denerim and it's just something with recording this game. I don't know what it is. It's happened the first time and it's, uh, it's happened. It happens this time, too. So when I log into the game, if I'm actively in Denerim, I start my recording at the same time, then it just the textures go crazy. So I'm going to do a few of the side stuff that's here in Denerim itself and then head back to camp. And when we come back, we'll head to uh, the Pearl and then we'll head to Redcliffe. But anyways, my friends, take it easy out there. Until next time, stay safe. See you all then.